Hi, my name is Alex. Today I want to show you how I go shopping with my favorite Android shopping list application, Mighty Grocery. When I start Mighty Grocery, there are three available options. The first option will open my current shopping list. The second option will show me the list of my favorite items that I usually purchase. And the third option will show me the list of my previous purchases. Let me check my current shopping list. As you can see, it's empty. So I go back to home screen and click Favorites. Now, from the list of my favorite items, I choose items that I want to buy. For instance, it would be ice cream. As you can see, gray star changes to yellow which means that this item is already on my shopping list. Well, I also want strawberries and uh, peaches. Sometimes I want to buy all my favorite items. So I can long click the item and click sell it all. If I decided something different, changed my mind, I can open the menu and select undo, which will undo the previous operation. Now, when I finish selecting my favorite items, I can go to shopping list. So, I see the items I selected from favorites, ice cream, strawberries and peaches. In the current shopping list, I can add any items from the catalog manually by clicking this green button. It shows me search and I can start typing like watermelon. So I decided to take watermelon as well. I can also add items by saying them, like this. Pork chops and potatoes. As you can see, here I have potatoes and here I have pork chops. Now I'm ready to start shopping. In the store, I click items as I put them in the cart, like this. Again, if I make a mistake, I can undo it in the main menu. Well, I can again select all items. As soon as I finished my shopping, I click check out and all my items are saved in history. Here we go. Ice cream, peaches, pork shop, potatoes and strawberries. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to post your comments on our website www.mightypocket.com and download the Mighty Grocery application from Android Market. Thanks for watching.